All right, week eight college football breakdown here. Nice little battle uh, at night in the American Athletic. We got UCF coming off of two big wins uh, and two big offensive outbursts. Traveling to Greenville, taking on East Carolina. UCF is a five point road favorite in this spot uh, and a pretty high total as well. It's 63 and a half. Um, I'm not going to take East Carolina plus five. I don't advocate for teasers all the time, but my play in this game, and I'm I'm still debating which other you know leg do I want to pair this with. I am going to tease East Carolina up and, and you know for us to get 11 points with them in this spot. You know UCF is a team that these last two weeks, as I mentioned, they've exploded offensively. John Rice Plumley has really started to move the ball well through the air. Um, you know how much of that is a playing at home and b playing against two pretty vulnerable defenses in SMU and Temple. I'm not saying it's not impressive, but I had major concerns about John Rice Plumley as a passer coming into the year. We've seen him multiple times this year really struggle. I mean, we saw it against Louisville. He was under 50% as a passer, uh, and he was right at 50%, 8 of 16 against Georgia Tech. So do I really think what we've seen these last two weeks is sustainable? The answer is no, I don't. I think UCF's offense as a whole, this is a good time to sell high on this offense. I don't think what we've seen these past two weeks is sustainable. And quite frankly, their run game has not been great this year. I mean, Isaiah Bowser is a guy that I thought was a bruising, you know, pretty effective running back coming into the year. He's under four yards per carry this year. The, the one thing that I think East, East Carolina can do pretty well is stop the run. So if you put John Rice Plumley consistently in obvious passing situations, I'm going to take my chances with this East Carolina defense. I think East Carolina stepped up well along their front four as well. And this is the one thing I'm going to say. East Carolina secondary is not good. Uh, they didn't step up well against Memphis last week. Uh, it's been a weakness for that defense all year. It's just telling you I, where I view him as a quarterback versus I, where I believe he's being priced in this matchup. They don't correlate. Might look like an easy matchup on paper. You're still going on the road and being asked to basically win by a touchdown against a pretty formidable opponent. I mean, let's move to East Carolina's offense. Holt Naylor's very experienced player at that quarterback position, but you know, probably even more so, East Carolina's run game is really good. Keaton Mitchell was a really good running back. I mean, he's a six-yard per carry kind of back. The one thing about UCF's defense, I know UCF has got a pretty good defense, and I get that. There's there's not a ton of holes there. They can be had in their run game. This is a really tough matchup. I, I think East Carolina is pretty multiple offensively, and I do I do think they they can give UCF their best their best punch in this game. Second straight home game for East Carolina. It's at night. This is you know this is a game where if you look at UCF these past two weeks, you say oh you know, yeah. I'll lay five with them on the road at East Carolina. And then it's a game where you turn on and you see the environment and this game starts to play out and you realize maybe UCF is not all we made them out to be. Maybe Gus Malzahn is, is going to be exactly who he's always been throughout his career. That's an average ass coach. Um, let's not forget one other thing too. This is a major look ahead spot for UCF. They're all high and mighty at this point. They've obviously got Cincinnati on deck. This could easily be a game where subconsciously, a lot of these players are overlooking uh, a team in ECU that if they do overlook, they will lose this game. I'm not predicting that to happen, and I don't feel good enough about East Carolina to, to bet them plus the five. With that being said, I don't think Plumlee is going to be able to consistently beat East Carolina enough through the air to where I think UCF really pulls away in this game. I'm going to tease East Carolina up to plus 11 in this game. I don't advocate for teasers a lot, but when the spot's there, the spot's there. I think that's the right way to play this game. And ultimately, I do think East Carolina is going to keep this game competitive. All right, guys, before we get out of here, I know you see this shirt right here. If you're in need of unique but comfortable uh, golf apparel, head over to Proud90.com. They got polos with the colder weather coming, hoodies and quarter zips. Recently added a ladies line. Proud90 has got all your golf apparel needs. Browse their selection. And if you see anything you like at checkout, use code Fordham. It's going to get you 15% off your entire order. That's code Fordham is going to get you 15% off your order at Proud90.com. Support me, support Proud90, Proud90.com.